is quite literally lined up over the ball like not just on the ball past the ball from my point of view and there's a lot of controversy with this like i guess the chiefs Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes were very animated saying like, you know, this play shouldn't, this play should have been called dead. You know, we should have been warned. And, you know, maybe I'm just unaware. And I think you might be more educated in this, but like, (laughs) that's like, I don't know. Like, Hey, you should have told me I was doing something illegal and you didn't. It's like, okay, do I need to tell you that robbing a bank is wrong? Like, you know, like, do I like and apples to apples? Yeah, basically. And apparently in the past, they've gotten away with stuff like this or they've gotten warnings and whatnot. And I'm sure that the Bills have benefited from that, too. But Carl Sheffers, I think, was the lead referee. And, you know, a warning can be given. But if it's like. Basically, to put it in layman's terms, is like if it's that obvious, if you if you can't even notice that you're that off sides, then you get what you deserve. Is what I pretty much read from his comments. It's like, dude, how did you not know you were off sides? Like, look, look, you're literally looking to the right at your screenshot. How did you not notice that you were like ahead of Creed Humphrey? And then there is the backlash of like, oh, Von Miller's offsides. Well, look at the look, look at the play. There's a screenshot going around, but Creed Humphrey's mid snap when he's in that neutral zone, so that's perfectly legal. And then when you look at it a couple seconds before, or if you play it through on the actual sideline um, view, he, Von Miller's not even offsides at all at, at any point of the game. And people are referencing the blue line. I was like. Well, even off that blue line, he's still not offsides, but the blue line is an estimate, guys. You got to remember it. That's not the official spot. Look at the ball. Look where the ball is. And then look at where Kadarius Tony is. I'm not going to say that that play that, uh, oh my God, Travis Kelsey did with Kadarius Tony wasn't great. It was a great play, and I was quite upset when I watched it. However, it will never go down in the books because. Kadarius Tony quite literally didn't l- notice that he was offsides, and there and that's there's ten other people on that side of the field. You tell me, no one noticed? Come on, like that. You just that's the same thing as like us running out with twelve people against Denver. Like that's on you. That's on you. You don't get you don't get away with that. Yeah, for me, like like you said, they they. You know, we're talking about usually you get a warning, whatever. Like, I, I don't care about any of that. Like, if you usually get a warning that you broke the rules, then that just means you got away with one in the past that they were being generous for, you know? You're lucky. <laughs> right. Like, we're, when you look at the tape, were you offsides? Yes. Okay. Flag. So I don't really care what happens after that. Now, if they threw this flag, like, after the whole play happened and they're like oh yeah he was lined up off sides we can have a whole different conversation but this flag was thrown well in advance of any of that play happening and to me this was kind of like when you have a a a defensive neutral zone infraction and the quarterback or the offense is allowed to get a free play that's essentially what what happened here is Mm -hmm. you know they let that play out and if we got an interception then we can decline the penalty but they let it play out um so regardless of what happened after that i don't really care um that being said um so i i was driving back from new york while the game was on and i got home with right like two plays before we uh kicked the field goal to go up three and what a frustrating series of <laughs> offensive plays, by the way. Just to, off, right at the end. Just so like, frustrating. But he you know, plays like 14 seconds off the clock in the two minute warning. You give it back to Casey with like what two timeouts and like two two in some minutes. <laughs> yeah. Like, so I was like what? So I, I finally get home. You know, this drive took us like almost seven hours, pouring rain the whole time, thick fog, can't see anything, driving in the dark. And I'm finally ready to, you know, come home, relax. I bet watch. you would have seen that you were off sides, or at least oh, for sure you know, off the over the road. Oh, there's a line. We also <laughs> drove past another car engulfed in flames. Just wild stuff going on. 
I'm ready to come home and relax. And like I get home and there's whatever, like two minutes left. We're up three and Patrick Mahomes is getting the ball with two timeouts. And I was like, well, fuck. <laughs> Great. Made it home to watch <laughs> another absolutely heartbreaking disaster loss. And I will say this for, you know, as happy as we can be today that we came out with that win. Uh, just think of how opposite everything would be if, you know, granted if that play had stood and, you know, whatever, we still had Josh Allen could come back on the field with like a yeah. minute, minute 10 left, two timeouts. Like, it's not like the game was over, over. But imagine sitting here today, <laughs> had the go-ahead touchdown been the game-winning touchdown and it was across the field lateral just oh my god the, for the disastrous oh. epic blunderous losses that we've had if we had to add that to the catalog i don't I'm, i don't know if i'd be sitting here sick. today man I, don't, I wouldn't be i don't know i don't know if i'd yeah, be here yeah, today. i think you would have been i think you would have been i need a break <laughs> <laughs>